Welcome to the fourth session on MicroFocus's DevWeb Protocol. In this video, we'll learn some basic scripting concepts of the DevWeb Protocol using the new DevWeb SDK. Let's start by importing the Advantage Online script into ViewGen. If you are using a different IDE, you can open the script directory directly. To learn how to create this script, please refer to the second and third videos of this series which demonstrates script recording in depth. DevWeb scripting language is JavaScript. As we simulate a browser environment, you can use any supported syntax of the language, but not browser-specific elements such as document. All the DevWeb APIs are available via the load keyword. The script is divided into three main parts. The initialize function will run only once in the lifetime of the script. The action will run once per iteration and the finalize will run only once when all the iterations are finished. All the documentation for the DevWeb APIs, together with code samples, are available in the documentation file or online. A link to the online documentation is in the video description. The web request is a basic object that represents an HTTPS request to the application under test. You can configure some defaults which will affect all the web request objects created subsequent to the definition. We can see that some headers will be added by default to all web requests. The return body value is set to false by default. This means that the body sent from the server will not be stored to the web response object to save on system resources. The first web request will retrieve the home page of the Advantage Online Shopping website. We set the URL property to the home page and the method to get. We can also add some headers and all the resources the page should download once it is loaded. At the end we call send sync to dispatch the web request. The result of this invocation is a web response object. A synchronous request will stop the execution of the script until the response arrives. When the method of the web request is post, a request body may be required. We can add a body by specifying the body property on the web request. The full list of properties available for a web request is listed in the documentation. Let's examine a particular web request where we retrieve the list of popular products. We'll check if a specific product exists in this list and print the outcome of our check to the log. To do any manipulation or check on the response body, we must set the return body parameter to true. Let's add some code to make sure that the first response is HP ElitePad 1000 G2 Tablet. To do that, we can convert the JSON response into an object using JSON Pass or use the JSON Body property of the web response. We can see that all is good is printed to the output as expected. Thank you for watching this video about the basic concepts of DevWeb scripting. We invite you to watch our next video about adding transactions to the script.